What's good, Black Shark Podcast? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy, Jared. Y'all, apparently it's not just black women that's triggered about the password, bros. It's white women. Now, I don't know how the heck this became so, so much of a big-ass issue, but apparently it is. Let's, let's share our discovery we're going to be looking at a reaction video from angry guy which is doing from bernard uh well, not from bernard riley damn why am i saying anything from dating right yeah here we go so watch so at least some of it together did this man just admit that he went to a foreign country to find himself a wife because does he want somebody with traditional values, which means that he wants a slave? Ma'am, I'm going to have to disprove you on that. He's probably not looking for a slave. He's probably looking for somebody that looks way better than you because, Jesus Christ, lady, you look like a dude. A woman with traditional values is a slave. This is how American women view it. Okay? A, a woman that cooks and cleans, take care of, takes care of the home, takes care of her man, takes care of the children. She views that as a slave in countries like the Philippines. A woman loves to cook and clean because this is part of their culture. They're very clean people. Women often they Filipino, Filipino people often will bathe twice a day, sometimes three times a day. If they smell body odor off someone, it, it'll bother them because they have very sensitive noses because they are such very, very clean people. Cooking is something that Filipinas love to do. They love to feed people. They love, they, they enjoy, that's just a part of their culture. They love, um, you know, being lo loving and kind and compassionate and caring towards people. That's a part of their culture. That's not something that's forced. That's not something that they do because, you know, it's a part of the job. It's something, it's a, it's a normal part of their personality. It's a normal part of their culture. It's something that they enjoy doing. It makes them happy. It makes them feel comfortable with others. You know, these are these are just normal qualities of Filipina. Filipinas, they like to clean. A lot of them, like, they don't want to live in dirty places. You know, you can have, you can hire a maid. A maid will come in. It hasn't been, they are very adverse to dust and, and grime and any little thing they'll they'll go off on and they like to clean things themselves that is just how filipinas are are they perfect that's for themselves i'm sorry i'm gonna skip forward right quick it's not about gender segregation or separation it's about men choosing their own fate and well, abide by and listen to literally everything he says he wants somebody to comply he wants a slave traditional values Oh, you mean seen and not heard, uh, marital R word is not a thing, uh, child rearer, cook, you know, you know, like. Child rearing, so raising children is slave work. Cooking is slave work. Guys, like, this is just messed up. She literally said, raising children, rearing children is slave work. Cook like, Wow. Like the, the good old days, the good old days when women couldn't vote, when women couldn't have bank accounts, when women couldn't leave their husband. These ladies are literally breaking down in front of us. Yeah, a lot of these ladies are breaking down in front of us. It's like a diagonal, um, like a diagonal computer program. Error, error. Yeah, a lot of these chicks are breaking down in front of our eyes, and this is it's insane. That woman just had a whole breakdown session in front of the camera. And she didn't even realize it. What a lot of these women don't realize is what men are asking for is very simple. We're giving you the literal 
the literal blueprint of what men are asking for. We're saying it. Problem is, you refuse to conform to what men are asking for, which is fine. Do you? Do you? Do you? Bow my head, bow your, bow gracefully out. Go where you are wanted. Go where you respected. Bow out gracefully. And if men don't want you, cool. Don't sit here and say that men are trying to enslave somebody because they're looking for traditionalism in a relationship. A lot of you want to slip around and then after you have your fun, then you want to sit here and say, oh, I want to do this. I want to be in a relationship somewhere. That ain't how that work, boo. That ain't how that work. Y'all literally try to sit here and say, oh, I want a man that's all of this. Or you say, I want him to be traditional, but while I could be, uh, while I could be liberal. That's two different ideologies. It won't work. I want to be able to make money. And I want to be a strong, independent woman. But when it comes to paying bills, I want him to be traditional. Nothing makes sense. It's all a made up concept that a lot of these chicks have. Nothing makes sense, especially when it comes to the way a lot of these women think. And it's not just black women, it's white women, Latinas that were born in the States, Asian women that were born in the States. It's all over the place. Western women are thinking like this. And the problem is when they find out down the line later on, that's not what they wanted all along. So what can you do? There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. Only thing you can do as a man is to keep Keep on moving. Keep moving forward. Leave. Go explore. Do something new. Cause wasting your time here and trying to deal with this shit, it's gonna waste. It's gonna burn your life away. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's not worth it. But regardless, they're screwed. So. Whatever y'all want to do, buddies, whatever y'all want to do, bros, y'all can do. But this, this is, this is insane. This is insane. This is insanity. And mm, I don't know. Y'all, y'all figure that out. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe to the comments. See you guys on the flip side and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.